welcome back to Cedar Roo. My name is Amber. I'm one half of Cedar Roo. And I'm here today with a really, really exciting video that I hope I'm going to be able to make into kind of a ongoing series. Today I have first a thrift haul from the Goodwill Outlet store with a bunch of sweatshirts, t-shirts, sweatpants, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to show you guys what everything looks like before I uh, get busy working on it. And then I'm gonna show you a nice little time lapse of me actually going out and putting bleach on all of these things. Uh, and then once they come out of the dryer in several hours, because of course my dryer likes to take a really long time to dry my clothing, uh, I will do a nice reveal to show what everything looks like afterward. Um, so I'm really, really excited to show this process. I love doing this. Um, I'm so glad that I found this and people really seem to like it. So I wanted to share my joy of one, thrifting, because that's kind of how all this got started was I go thrifting. I love thrifting, especially at the Goodwill Outlet store. I love the treasure hunt. Um, and you know, the upcycling of things is, uh, obviously a huge, huge passion. So I'm really, really excited to share this process with y'all. So stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, this isn't like a huge haul from the thrift store, um, but you know, there's some good stuff in here and it's also been riding in the back of my car for like a week. So I don't even know what I have in here anymore. So it's gonna be a nice surprise for me too. This, okay, this is a nice Occupy Mars, like blue t-shirt. It doesn't have a size, but I found that that doesn't really matter um people will still buy it because this is super oversized if i had to guess this is a xl or a 2x um and it's super soft but it doesn't have any type of tags on the inside but it's okay it will still look good and it will still sell i'm beaten up oh this is young fabulous and broke so you know some of our stuff is just like cheapo t-shirts you know, whatever you'll see that. But some of the stuff is stuff that I maybe previously tried to um, sell on Poshmark because I also do a little bit of reselling um, and it didn't sell. Or, you know, I think that it'll sell for more in the store with some bleach on it than it would on Poshmark, all that. Um, so some of our stuff is actually like brand stuff. Um, you'll see that throughout the videos, but this is just a little young, fabulous and broke, like slouchy pink, um, like, hoodie sweatshirt thing in a medium. I think that looks super cute and it's perfect for this time of year. So it's Hustle Gang. It's an XL. I don't know what this is, um, but it just has a bunch of, you know, emblems and things like that. This is an American Eagle soft and sexy, um, like off the shoulder little purple top. Like how cute is that? So this is a nice Tennessee sweatshirt, or sweatshirt, it's a t-shirt, it's a short sleeve t-shirt, it's a 2X, which is fantastic. Bigger sizes are always better. This is a Talbot's dress. So actually, I don't know, I, I, we'll see how this one turns out. These are sweatpants, these are airy sweatpants and an extra small, so thankfully with airy, if it's an extra small, it's still gonna sell. Um, these are like a mauve color um, and they're just joggers, which joggers sell so well. Yeah, we got Chicago Cubs. Once again, any sports team, it will sell. But we do have a lot of Cubbies fans around here. My family is one of them. Um, and this is from when they won the World Series back in 2016. That's a nice size. It's what, uh, an extra large, so that's great. Um, this is a really light, like seafoam color. Um, if this was like a comfort colors t-shirt, it probably wouldn't bleach. I don't know what it is about comfort colors. I don't know if it's like how good their quality of fabric is or what it is, but some of the colors, especially comfort colors t-shirts, they just don't bleach. Here we got Detroit baseball. Um, like I said, I live in Tennessee. There's quite a few Detroit transplants down here, so that's a-okay. Um, it's a medium. Here we got Jason Aldean. This is my kind of party 2011 tour. Um, this is perfect for the area of the country where I live. This one is a large and it's just a really nice Vanderbilt sweatshirt. 
Okay, so this is one I grabbed, I think, that I'm just gonna keep. I'm a huge Nashville Predators fan. My family, we were Nashville Predators season ticket holders for many, many years, starting when they first came to Nashville back in 98. And this, I remember them handing out this shirt. My dad wore this shirt for years because he wears all like the Nashville Predators freebies. And so when I saw this, I was like, I have to grab it because that's, it's so nostalgic because we had these. It's an extra large. It's just one of the freebies that they had from opening night 2000. Here we got Ole Miss. Just a really nice t-shirt. It's an extra large. I think it's a women's extra large. Ah, Atlanta Braves World Series champions this year. Um, this is a Nike, like, um, more dry fit type t-shirt. So I don't know if this one's going to bleach or not. Um, so I grabbed it obviously just because it's the Braves. You know, they won the World Series. Like, of course, I'm going to pick it up. If it doesn't bleach, it doesn't bleach, but fingers crossed that it does. It's an extra large. It's really nice. Obviously, it's Nike. If it does bleach and we can get it in the store, it's going to sell immediately. Just a little Tennessee Titans. This is a medium. That's pretty big for a medium. Actually, that's really big for a medium. That's like an extra large. So this one is a J. Crew medium. And it's just a nice, like, kind of camping shirt in, like, a purple plaid. This is logo Lori Goldstein. Um, I know this brand because of reselling. I've sold this brand on Poshmark. Um, I've worn this brand because it's big and comfy. Um, but this one is going to be one that we bleach. Especially because it's a 2X. So we, you know, get stuff that's, like, actual clothing. Like, this is, like, a little, like, tunicky, blousey top. Um, you know, we, and nothing is safe from my, my spray bottle. Nothing is safe. Nothing is sacred. Look how cute this one is. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. It's a, whoa, 2T. So I don't know what this is. Doom Sayer. Yeah. Doom Sayers. That's like the brand. It's a medium. This it's really cool. It's a really cool shirt. Like. I don't know where this came from. I like it. it. Does not smell good, but don't worry. Bleach fixes that. Bleach in a nice wash <laughs> and dry. Oh, it's gonna be smelling fresh to death. The Rourke Revival. It's a large, and it says Fear the Sea. And this one's already tie-dyed, but once again, nothing is safe, nothing is sacred. Even tie-dye stuff can be bleached. And yes, we even do tie-dye. I have a whole stack of stuff out in the in the living room that I need to take to get it going with some tie-dye. Nothing is safe. Okay, so we have another Cub shirt, and I feel like this shirt is more indicative of the year that they had this year. This team makes me drink. That's fun. That's funny. Okay, so this is Ava and Viv. This is a uh, Target brand, but it's just a, like a salmon-y colored shirt, um, just a short sleeve shirt. It's a great color, um, which is the reason I grabbed it. It's a, just a 1X, but I thought it was a great color shirt. It, it, like, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, Memphis Grizzlies. Always in need of more Memphis stuff because I don't live in Mem. I don't because I don't live in Memphis. It's difficult sometimes to get the Memphis stuff because we have a store location booth thing there. It's difficult to get products for Memphis because a lot of the stuff doesn't make it to where I live. So anyway, but this is good. It's an extra large Memphis Grizzlies T-shirt. Nashville Predators. Nashville Predators stuff sells like hotcake. Hot cakes. It's a medium, just plain Nashville Predators hockey t-shirt. Great. Okay, well I think that wraps up all the stuff that I'm going to be bleaching today. So I'm going to take a quick intermission, get this stuff outside, and we're going to do a nice time lapse of me actually bleaching this stuff. And then once we get done with that, it'll be time for the reveal. Stay tuned.
now several hours later I have just pulled everything out of the dryer and so it's time for the reveal yay we're just gonna get right into it so this is how the Ole Miss shirt turned out look at that let me scoot back a little bit uh, I think that looks great this is the uh, the Doom Slayers Club look at that kind of gave a little bit of a smoky effect love it we got mr. Jason Aldean here I think that looks fire very cool this is uh, the Nashville Predators t-shirt I really like that I mean it just makes t-shirts look so much cooler <laughs> just adds a little pizzazz And we got the Detroit baseball. Nice. This doesn't look like it did much. So sometimes that happens where it doesn't really do much. You can kind of see it, um, that it is a little bit discolored. So this is that young, fabulous and broke one. So basically anything that doesn't bleach or doesn't bleach enough, well, enough will either get a second round of bleaching, which sometimes will cause it to actually show up a little bit more. But with this one, I think this is actually gonna go for tie-dyeing um, because something that has previously been bleached that then gets tie-dyed ends up usually looking really cool. So I'm gonna set this aside for it to go down for um, tie-dyeing. This is that Hustle Gang t-shirt. Nice. Tennessee shirt. That looks really good. These are those airy joggers. Like, how cool are those? Like, that's, that's so cool. If I wore an extra small, then I'd keep those, but I certainly do not. <laughs> Cubbies. Oh, yay, this did bleach. So this is the one that I was a little concerned about that I didn't know if it would bleach or not because of the color, but it did. That's so nice. But it's this Vanderbilt sweatshirt that I really like. That's nice. We're gonna need to set that back in the dryer for a little bit. Oh, wow. This like completely changed colors. This logo, Lori Goldstein. This was like more of a like a turquoise color and now it's showing up as a purple. That's so cool. Oh, I love how this turned out. That's beautiful. Oop. <laughs> we'll just tuck these pockets right back in. Here's that Talbot dress. Oh no, I think that is um, a beautiful style there. I love that. I might try that and see if that fits. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Yay, my throwback Preds t-shirt. Ooh, this, ah, oh, yeah, this color always seems to do well for me. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Wow. Wow. And the other cubby shirt. That's good. Boop. The Grizzlies. Nice. And like this shirt, like it was fine. It was a little dingy, like it had clearly been worn. But that's what's great about doing stuff like this is it really gives clothing an opportunity to get a second chance. Like this isn't just like a raggedy old t-shirt now. Like this is actually a cool t-shirt. Like you'd want to wear that out and about. Okay, so this didn't do anything. That's disappointing. Um, I was a little worried about the color and this color didn't want to do anything. So we're going to set this one aside. Titans. That's nice. Here we have that J. Crew flannel. Very cool. I, mm, I don't know. I might 
keep it like that. I don't know if I'm gonna write on it or not, but I might just keep it like that. I think that's, you know, I think it's fine the way it is. Well, this one's pretty light, but you can still see it. Oh yeah, it just adds a little bit of fun, a little bit of dimension to the cute little polar bear. Oh yeah. See, even though this was already tie-dyed, you can, you can see like where the bleach was. Um, so, you know, it still went in and did its job, so. Okay, so only a couple of things didn't quite bleach, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna set them aside and see what else I can do with them. Everything else I think turned out fantastic. And that's the great thing about this style of like upcycling is it's very difficult to do it wrong. You know, it, it no matter what you do, no matter what your technique, it's usually gonna turn out pretty darn cool. Um, so I just wanted to show off my process and show off how cool things turned out. You know, I love thrifting and, you know, kind of getting to see what happens at the end. Um, so if you enjoyed this, let me know. Um, please subscribe, follow us on the things, I'll link it all down below. Uh, check out our website where we have print on demand um, t-shirts listed on Amazon. Um, you can find that all at our website, cedarroo.com, I'll also link that below. And uh, comment below, any comments, questions, concerns, what was your favorite t-shirt that uh, came out at the end? Which, which one would you buy? And if you are in Tennessee, in Knoxville, Nashville, Franklin, or Memphis, or Murfreesboro, guess what? We have locations near you, um, and I will also have those in the description below. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!